Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamen Over Yoga, I'm Ali and today we're doing a very important class, twists. Before we begin, I want to address <laughs> the elephant in the house, the kitties. Not everybody follows me on Instagram, so you're not aware why there is all, all of a sudden cats. Uh, we rescued them, long story uh, actually, but we, uh, we rescued them and, uh, they were born by a feral mother um, in our house and I wasn't able to adopt them just because we were moving and it was quite a stressful period so they ended up with us. I, I'm still trying to adopt them out because we don't have perfect perfect conditions for cats and also I travel a lot so I don't I'm not in a position to adopt new animals but here I am with three and we prefer them not to be in the shoot in the yoga shoot because they maybe can be distracting or people can drop kind of insensitive comments I would say about cats uh, but um, they happen to just gather here when I do yoga so I hope you understand we're in a very temporary uh, place here we're going to be changing location for the yoga classes but so it happens uh, I'm doing the 30-day program from here and as I've mentioned before you will never find the perfect time for everything the perfect location the perfect situation so um, the lesson of life and yoga and everything is to flow with what you have at the moment and find perfection in that um, in that in that sense there is you know the perfect companions now and so curb curb your negative comments <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't wanna. We don't wanna hear it. We're trying to help these uh, babies. They're amazing. They're very easygoing and amazing. But not under the circumstances that we ended up. We had to travel, move, move them states, um, be in a very confined place with a dog, etc. It's challenging. Anyways, we're doing our best. We're trying to help them, and hopefully, I'll, I'll find a better situation for them, where or um, things will shift uh, in general when we get a backyard and so so forth. Anyways, so that's the side story with uh, uh, kittens. So uh, if you're new to my channel, you're not, uh, you know, you're and you're wondering why is there so many cats in on the couch tree. <laughs> uh, yeah, I didn't go ahead and try to find cats. It's just how things worked out. Anyways. Um, but uh, with all that being said, they're amazing, they're, they're, they're very uh, sweet with each other, bonded, they clean each other's face and so forth, so uh, yeah, there is bath time sometimes in the classes. Uh, back to twists. Um, Twists are very important in yoga. We have forward bang, bends, uh, back bends, uh, supine poses, inversions. Twists are um, standing poses, standing sequence, uh, breathing, sequ uh, breathing in pranayama um, exercises or postures, asana. Uh, twists are very important because uh, they have a physical and metaphysical function or effect in the body. Uh, physically, um, if we don't move the spine, it's one of those things, use it or lose it, uh, the, the, uh, the vertebra, the um, ligaments, the fascia, everything can shorten the, the joints or the um, cartilage and all of that can fuse. So if we don't use the spine in different ways, the way yoga, uh, uh, we do it in yoga with back bends, forward bends, uh, twists, elongations, all of that, obviously that function over time um, declines. Uh, it's very important to remember with twists to, um, to do full body movements, move from the core, um, be grounded so you're going to establish a good foundation with the floor whether you're seated or standing and also move from the core and move um, through the entire um, torso and spine uh, don't concentrate a, a, a twist in one place only because uh, obviously you're working in a misaligned way um, Twists are not recommended after once in, uh, during pregnancy once uh, a person starts showing. Uh, mouth twists are okay because uh, still pregnant women still need to move the upper uh, back and all that. But no, no deep twists here through the midsection. They're not really recommended deep twists. I personally avoided them because 
when you do regular yoga just a little bit of twisting is enough to adjust to adjust the spine uh, twists are phenomenal for the buzzword detox <laughs> i try not to use that word so much because i don't want to uh, there is pop culture detox and there is true true detoxification that is not a new concept nothing not something that just evolved uh, uh, you know in the weight loss circles um, the body does have the capacity to deto detoxify itself as long as we support it and as long as our lifestyle supports it now one of the things we can do to support detox is of course um, um, practice practice yoga practice movement practice uh, breath work stomach vacuums ab work and what do you know <laughs> twists uh, back bends are also very uh, uh, good for the digestive system twists are great they massage um, and tone the internal organs the organs of digestion and detoxification they have a really direct physical effect and uh, effect they also um, they affect the organs but they also affect all the nerves that are associated with the digestive system uh, when we move of course we affect the spine and all the nerves uh, so twists are really important in so many levels and uh, there is just a few um, instances in which they're not recommended after surgery of course um, injury etc uh, but in general in life we should commit to practicing some level of twisting because otherwise as i said use it or lose it the spine can deteriorate um, so today we're going to do um, the way i'm envisioning it a bit of um, standing practice uh, with elongations and twists so without further ado let's begin and let's flow with laugh strength and twist <laughs> Starting at the front of the mat, we're going to drop onto the heels a few times, my new favorite thing. I've been doing this for a few years now and including it in the classes, but we're bringing it big time this January. You can do it rhythmically here. So the reverberation is getting your blood going. So you're dropping on the heels, you're keeping your knees soft, not hyperextended and you're letting that reverberation move through the body, through the tissues, through bones, fascia. <laughs> Lengthen through the crown of the head. I'm doing the exhalation through the mouth, which is so it's five inhales through the nose, five exhales through the mouth, but you can do whatever you want here. All right, good. This gets the blood going and here we're going to leave the hands over the head. Lift and reach. Allow your feet to sink down through the mat. Clasp the hands and reach over to one side. So you're gonna reach over to the right and really feel your left foot grounding down. So you are elongating all along the left side, change. This is the side bend and you want to experience it as um, 
equally along, uh, equal elongation throughout the entire spine. So you're not just moving in one in the center, in the midpoint of the spine, in the middle, but you want to elongate everywhere. You want to elongate and open. I do have a class called Elongation, I think, on YouTube. Undulation, I have, they're, they're quite in-depth, I have a lot of twisting classes as well. With twists, I want you to um, move from the center. So remember that this is a full body move, even though it feels like we're just moving through certain parts of the upper body, it's we are involving the whole spine, including the head and the neck. So uh, initiate it from your center and feel uh, your shoulders, feel your uh, neck and head, etc. Uh, keep the chest open and the back wide. We don't want to collapse and and do a little twists in just. Um, kind of parts of the body we wanna we wanna open expand elongate and then twist from that inhale reach up exhale dive down with a straight back inhale look ahead plank here we're gonna step the feet about hip width or a little wider than hip width apart and we're going to twist or uh, bring the hips down side to side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take the right leg up, step it through, and come up high lunge. Clasp the hands together, elongate the tailbone slightly down and reach over to the right elongating here or stretching here the psoas the hip flexor lengthen the entire torso here right and left side are lengthening you can look up from here hands in prayer open the arms out turn to your right drop the hands onto the Legs, look behind you. Reach up. Great, from here we're gonna take the left hand and drop it on the ground, bring it on the ground. Take the right arm up, twist here, and reach over the head here. So you're going to feel again this twisting through the entire spine spiral i like to think here of a spiral there is this spiral um force spiraling force energy moving through the spine and you're bringing the top right rib cage over the left one turning the palm of the hand down so the that spiral is moving all the way into the uh, fingertips press the back heel away from you and indulge yourself in this twisting, full body spiraling motion. And plank. Take the left leg up, step it through, high lunge. Elongating down and reaching over to the left, lengthen, look up. along it, the left and right side. Coming out of this, hands over the heart. Open out, twist to the left. Drop the hands down. Look behind you. You can elongate here 
and bring the right hand down left arm up in a twist don't collapse onto the right shoulder keep your legs very active keep the back heel very active reach over the head and turn the palm of the hand down this twist you can fill it in the abdominal cavity a twist can help your uh, breath practice Contraction, for example, when we contract with exhalation or with a twist, brings about new energy when we release. Release down, step it back, plank. First chaturanga, you can do it from your knees or from your toes. Upward facing. Dog, Chaturanga, again knees or not, down dog. Inhale the right leg up. Open the right hip on top of the left. Bend the knee, lift. Drop it behind, wild thing. And one leg down dog, step it through, warrior two. Reverse the warrior, lift, lengthen. Both sides of the torso lengthen, the spine elongates all the way through the entire spine. And here we're gonna elongate again right elbow over the right knee or right hand on the inside of the right foot and really lengthen through the fingertips from the outer edge of the left foot all the way into the fingertips on the left hand everything is just one dynamic um, energized line and the left rib cage is working to rotate and bring itself over the right rib cage. Lengthen, elongate. Beautiful. Both hands down and you're going to glue, <laughs> glue your right, uh, your right um, knee over the right triceps. Great. Plank, Chaturanga, Up Dog, Chaturanga, Down Dog. Take the left leg up, open the knee, bend the knee, drop it behind while thing. and reverse it step it through warrior two the left knee is facing directly forward right hip is rotating externally Reverse it, glide the right hand down the right leg, lengthen, turn the palm of the hand down, look up. And elongate, inside angle of your choice. Lengthen, that way lengthen and energize the pose by energizing also the fingertips. And pressing into the outer edge of the foot. And let's bring both hands down and we're gonna bring the 
left knee on top of the triceps, really squeeze it, pull the belly in, hold, plank, chaturanga, up dog, chaturanga, down dog, walk your feet to the front, forward fold, you can do twist here by bringing the hands on the right ankle, look over to your right, left ankle, over to the left, chair pose, hands in prayer twist, left elbow on the outside of the right knee, knees stay together, so try not to mismatch the knees here, lengthen through the crown of the head, open the chest, widen the back, drop the shoulders away from the ears, change, empty the belly with through the exhalation. Release. And here, come back into chair. And come out, arch, exhale, dive down. Inhale, look ahead, plank. Chaturanga, up dog, Chaturanga, down dog, inhale the right leg up, step it through, high lunge, hands in prayer twist, again same pointers here, Open the chest, widen the back, drop the shoulders, lengthen through the crown, press into the back heel, feel a spiraling, spiraling energy moving through your body, spine, but also entire body. And coming out of this, we're going to step at the front of the mat on the right leg, bring your left ankle over the right knee, sit back here in a hip opener and we're gonna again twist left elbow inside the left foot, shifting your weight, uh, gaze will challenge you. Coming out and coming out you're going to wrap your leg around the standing leg, left arm forward, forward, right arm up, cross, wrap, lift, sit and look up. And we're going to bring the arms on the outside of the knees here, open the right arm up, right palm of the hand up, and back to center, go over to the other side. Right hand palm down, all right, I know you're dying. <laughs> to get off of here, so going to warrior three of sorts and step it down, chaturanga, up dog, chaturanga, down dog, take the left leg up, step it through, high lunge, hands in prayer, lengthen, take a big breath in here, exhale and rotate, twist, Come 
coming out, step at the front, bring the right ankle over the left, sit back and bring your right elbow inside of your right foot, work towards cha changing your gaze up. Beautiful. Come out and sit back for another breath here just to feel the hip opening. Come up on one leg. Wrap your right leg around the left, right arm forward, left arm up, cross, wrap, lift, sit, look up. Soften the back. We're freeing the back. <laughs> Stretching the back muscles and you can bring your hands on the outside to your left, open the left palm of the hand up, coming up, opposite side here, palm, left palm down, I know, I know, all right from here, warrior three. Step it back, plank, chaturanga, up dog, chaturanga, down dog. Take the right leg up, step it through, high lunge. Hands in prayer twist. Exhale here, bring the Left hand down, right arm up and over maybe. Press the back heel away from you. Release from this. Come up to the front and, and wrap your left leg around the right leg. Hands in prayer. And we're gonna continue with the twist, okay, twist. I named this one many years ago, AK twist. Left elbow on the outside of the left knee. On a good day, you get them done. On a bad day, you just fall and laugh or fall out of the pose, not on the floor. You lose your balance and change sides with a twist. All right, good. Warrior three. Step it down. Chaturanga. Up dog. Chaturanga. Down dog. Take the left leg up. Step it through. High lunge. Hands in prayer. Big inhale. Big exhale. Twist. Bring the right hand down, left arm up. Either stay here or you can continue deepening by bringing the left arm up and over, palm of the hand down, lengthen, spiral action. Energize the fingertips, the back of the heel, the heel. Great. Coming out of this, step at the front, wrap. Hands in prayer. And we're going to bring the right elbow on the out, in, out, that's inside. On the inside of the knee to, to your left, let's just say that. It gets very pretzly here. <laughs> All right, coming out of this, focus, almost there. Opposite side. I forgot to say that twists with balances are a whole other story. And come out. Warrior three. Step it down. Knees on the ground. Cat cow. Rounding the back, lengthening, arching. Rounding with the breath, with the flow of breath. Good. 
sit down. Bring your legs in front of you and we're going to bring the hands behind us. Step your feet just a little wider than hip width. You're gonna adjust and drop your knees to the right. So here it's a little bit of a twist, a very mild one, but also hip opener. Change. One more time. Change. Coming out of this. And let's bring, let's bring the um, left ankle on the outside of the right knee. Take the right arm up and twist here. So this is a full body, full spine move. You are not twisting one particular part of the spine. There is this spiral. I want you to imagine, visualize a spiraling force, spiraling energy that vortexes around the spine. Today I mentioned the situation with the kiddies and even though they're teenagers, they're so well behaved. They're proving to you <laughs> that the yeah, that the, anybody that had some objection to the cats or comment, they're actually better better behaved than, than people. And these kitties really seem to want to be around yoga. And when I do yoga, they want to be here. So for now, probably we'll see them quite a bit. All right, from here, look forward and bring the left knee on top of the right and you can lean forward here with a straight back and let the hips open here, feel that force. Opposite side, reach, lengthen, inhale here, exhale, and keep that chest open, upper back wide, shoulders down. Uh, let the breath guide you here, and as you soften, you feel the resistance within your body leave. We, um, as I keep saying, there's no separation between the emotional, the spiritual, mental, etc., and physical body. So wherever we have um, resistance, stagnation, um, clutter, cluttered energy uh, in the body, it's reflected also in the mind, in our pattern thinking. Patterns are reflected in the physical and it's a two-way street when we work on the physical we do work on the emotional and mental body and when we work on the emotional and mental we work on the physical but i'm a little bit partial as a yoga teacher but also because over the course of living life i have been proven that the physical is a better gateway to work on the other bodies uh, because we are somatic beings and a lot of unconscious processes um, uh, are, uh, unconscious uh, most of us is unconscious most of our um, most of our um, uh, memories patterns beliefs um, how we operate, it comes from an unconscious place. We're not cognizant of it. So it's very difficult to work on a conscious level with everything because we don't even know about it. The physical, however, knows about it. The body knows about it. Look forward and let's bring the knee over the other knee. Wiggle your bum between your heels and lean forward. Uh, the physical body knows about <laughs> everything. Um, it's a perfected reflection of your soul, of your mental body, emotional body. 
so working through the physical through the patterns the blockages um, the stagnant areas the cluttered areas in the physical we work on all the other layers and they start to peel layer by layer uh, so it's really good it's very important to work through the physical to soften the areas in the body that tend to um, densify and as we um, loosen up areas in the body we uh, loosen up patterns patterns parent behavior parent thoughts um, parent uh, language the way we speak oftentimes it's just it can be a negative loop and we can break that loop uh, purely with physical um, tools and when we meet the two it's even better the physical and the conscious conscious mental all right from here there are so many more twists but I'm gonna keep them for another time lay down bring the left knee in and across the pine twist look away from your knee and soften here change I may or may not do a class on language in this program but always pay attention to your language to the words you use especially if they're repetitive because words are spelling they create create worlds um, create reality manifest reality so we want to be conscious of um, of the way we the ways we speak vocation vo um, and also vocalizing um, very important to choose our words to study language uh, to look at the origin of words words are contractual we enter into contracts if we're unconscious and we speak certain way so it's very important to to pay attention to our words and learn continuously the meaning of words reach over your head walk your feet to the right hands to the right cross your right foot over the left stretch here keep both shoulders both hips down loosening up tightness in the body will loosen up tightness in the mind dislodging toxicity in the body will dislodge um, stuck hidden toxicity in uh, the mind so it may feel frustrating at first but removing toxicity is a good thing all right from here change opposite side because we're working with twists today and it's a very detoxifying um, it's a very detoxifying move uh, so it moves things around when we detox sauna sweating mm, vacuums twist drink water after infrared light etc drink water water carries things out and you can put um, a pinch of sea salt or um, seaweed in the water if you're not sure about electrolytes I tend to think electrolytes typically mostly come from our food but um, people worry about water a lot and drinking water you can always put a pinch of seaweed in it all right 
for more tips I will have articles on the website and here we're gonna give ourselves a big hug hold, hold yourself in a hug you got yourself you're always there for you one of the most important lessons in life is faith and life humbles us and puts us through challenges in order to soften us and in order to um, break us open so that we can find that we can release fear and find faith fear is the old the author um, the, the dark force, so to speak. Faith is the opposing force. Uh, some people say love is the opposing force, and it is. Uh, so is faith. Uh, trusting the flow of life. When we flow in um, in harmony with life, when we don't struggle against the flow of life, things align. We're quote-unquote lucky people. And when we struggle against the flow of life, all of a sudden we start saying this is bad karma, bad destiny. We're not in the flow. Nothing wrong with it. Don't judge yourself or others for it. But that's where we learn. When we struggle, we understand that there is more that we can soften and uh, also create. Learn. And, and also deepen our faith. Faith is trusting, trusting the divine, trusting the divine flow, trusting the perfection in, in, in the universe, the harmony. Chaos is a part of the harmony. The destruction creation cycle out of destruction, out of chaos comes the new. So none of it is out of order, none of it is unnecessary. Darkness is necessary in order for light to be there. The shadow is only in the presence of light. So in the contradictions, in the conflicts, in, in the... Um, paradoxes uh, of life, that's, that's where we experience its fullness, wholeness and growth, our own growth, our own connection to divine. We cannot resist parts of life because they feel negative. But at the same time, we're at a place on earth where there is a massive jump. In, we are um, on the verge of a massive jump in consciousness. Consciousness is frequency, so in frequency as well. And as we jump, we're going to expand our perception of reality. We're going to perceive, experience more of reality, more of our senses, uncover new senses. And this is here the, the, the work here. We're going to be faced with more darkness because when there is a big jump, we experience more darkness, more shadows. But they're the necessary, the, the, that which facilitates that jump. So accepting the, the paradoxical nature of life, decom the contradictions, allows us to experience faith, to bring it full circle to faith. So resisting life, I said in one of the classes, I don't know how, if, uh, how they're going to line up, but resisting the contradictions in life can damage the liver. Accepting builds our faith. And faith is the entry to the new humanity, to that next level of consciousness that humanity is jumping into. Anyways, that is <laughs> the chat for today in our self-embrace. So now you can release. Lay down here and allow yourself to to flow in emptiness, experiencing harmony, peace, wholeness. 
experience yourself, experience yourself completed, whole, perfect as you are, perfect as you are, because you are at the exact place and time that you need to be. So even the imperfections are part of where you need to be. They're your launching point. You're not meant to be uh, completed and finished in the sense that there's no more work to be done. You're completed as a being, as a consciousness. And um, the rough edges that you feel are exactly in perfect place for, for the experience that we are on. That we're indulging ourselves in <laughs> cold life called existence, called reality, called the hero's journey, called individuation, to individuation, to, sp to spiritualization, to self-realization, to oneness. That's the journey. So stay here and experience your own perfection and the perfection around you and the perfection in the universe and the perfection of the universal mind and the expression of that mind within you through you, the no separation from it, the merging with it, the being it. And stay here for a few moments, allowing yourself to flow with love, strength, ease and faith. Namaste. <laughs>